Yeah, Tammy, remember those eyes I saw peering at me from out of the woods? Turns out it was just a hippopotamus's home. I just in here I thought it would be something much more dangerous than hippopotamus. Remember that board game Hungry Hungry Hippos that we used to play? That was so much fun. We should play it again. I have a better idea than that. Let's play real life Hungry Hungry Hippos. Hold on, how do you play real life Hungry Hungry Hippos? I'm glad you asked. Follow me to find out. Hey club members, we made it to Friday. It is Fitness Friday. Last time we left off, I was on the phone with Miss Tammy telling her how we are going to play real life Hungry Hungry Hippos. Just like we've kind of pieced together these clues to see. All right, Alessi's here. She's ready to learn how to play Hungry Hungry Hippos. She's in her jungle, jungle jumperoo for this theme week, for Safari Week. All right, so we're at the conclusion of Safari Week, but we have one more activity to play. So we are going to play a game called Hungry Hungry Hippos. Now, this is not like the Hungry Hungry Hippos board game that we've played, where you try to use the little pieces and the little buttons to gobble up all those little treats. All right, but this is real life Hungry Hungry Hippos. So, all you need is something to like keep time for to see how well you can do this. And also you need individually wrapped either little candies, like Hershey Kisses work great, um, or individually wrapped snack, like chip baggies or whatever you can do that's obviously wrapped because you're gonna have to hide them around the house. So to start, you need your parent to hide, without you obviously knowing, hide these candies or hide the food around your house. Or of course, if it's a nice day, you can go outside and do this activity outside in a park, um, somewhere in your backyard, as long as you're staying safe, you go out in the public. Um, so what we're gonna do, when, when all the food is hidden, all right, we are going to then try to find the food. Now, we're not gonna just walk around and, you know, kind of run or, or crawl or whatever. So it's, it's Jungle Safari Week. We are going to do different animal movements to find this food. So my, the pieces of candy, we're using Hershey's chocolate, little chocolate bars for our candy for our food. I right, said, so they're all hidden around our little living room area. All right, so Alessi, she's just gonna hang, she's gonna tell me when to go, she's loving this activity. You're right, you love your little jungle bouncer? Yeah, good. So, what's gonna happen is when we say go, I am going to, we're gonna start by walking like an elephant. So we're doing locomotor movements, right? So you can walk like an elephant, you can even you know, run like a tiger or a lion, you can do whatever you want, you can walk tall like a giraffe. Uh, if you want to run like a gazelle or something, so you can do whatever animal movements you want. But for the sake of this activity, we're gonna we're gonna walk like an elephant, all right? So we're gonna do some flexibility, some stretching, some get some elephant movements in there. So I the canes are hidden, all right. My parents hidden them, so they're, they're gonna try the time. Now, if you have a sibling, you can play this with them instead of doing it with the time. You can even race your sibling to see how many pieces of candy or pieces of food that you can get versus your brother or sister. All right, so you can do it that way or you can do it race against the clock. But for right now, we're walking a bit. All right, we say ready, set, go. So I'm going, I can run, I can, I got my elephant truck. Make the noise. Because we're in the jungle safari. All right, so you're going around. You're moving around. All right. Oh. I got my piece of candy here, right? So my animal is that's an elephant. I look ridiculous, I know, but it's all for good fun, unless he likes it. It's making me laugh, it's making her laugh. So we're going, we're elephants. Oh, I got, oh, I scared you, didn't I? But I found my piece of candy. All right, so we're going around, I'm an elephant. All right, oh, another piece of candy. All right, so I think you get the general gist. I'm so an elephant. All right, wait, what's that? Uh oh, I think I made her upset. But before she loses it, so that's how you play Hungry Hungry Hippos, right? You just gotta hide some candy, you have some fun, you move around, obviously, you can jump around, you get some exercise into it, you get some stretching, get some flexibility, all right? But that is how you play Hungry Hungry. Wait, what is this? I think I found another clue, club members. This must, this must be the last clue. It is Friday. It has to be the last clue. I need to call Miss Tammy. Another clue. I found one during the Hungry Hungry Hippos activity. This has to be the last clue to find the artifact. Tell me, tell me. Hmm, well, it says, through the glass doors are friendly faces, gyms and games and crafty spaces, a place to feel welcome, a place to laugh, 
a place to run and thoughts to draft. From football to tie-dye, there are activities galore. We can't wait for you to come back and explore. Tim, what do you think it means? Only one way to find out. I'll meet you at the club. Well, that's it. The mystery is solved. The Indian Valley Boys and Girls Club, it is the artifact. Thank you, boys and girls, for following along with us this week. We started off at the club and Miss Tammy found that note, and here it brought us all the way back to the club. We hope you enjoyed our jungle safari week. Thanks for watching. Hashtag one club, one camp. We will see you later, boys and girls club members.